You can still buy coins with the new transaction method at golda.com. Check out the link in the video's description and use the code TOMLFC Heaven for 5% discount. So at the moment, it looks like if, if we finish first, we get a really, really strong big team in the next round. But you know, I want to beat Germany. I mean, the li rivalry is such a fierce rivalry between England and Germany. Let's try and get a victory. I'm playing my second swing side to rest the players for the knockout stage. No. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. We're back. Cross it. That's brilliant. And oh, Neuer saves it. Damn it. No. Are you? Oh my god. Are you serious? Lasoga scores for Germany. They take the lead. Damn it. Unlucky. Oh, really unlucky. I think I had it. I thought I had it covered, but somehow Lasoga gets ahead of Smalling or does it take a deflection of Smalling? No, that's actually a brilliant chip goal. Well played, Lasoga. An absolutely brilliant goal. Come on. Barahino, bang! Oh, great goal. Lovely goal by Barahino. It's 1 1. We are back in it. That first touch by Barahino completely has outdone Boateng. Look at that. See you later, mate. Go grab a donut while I will score a goal. <laughs> Barahino, 1 1. No! Ooh, Joe saves. Good save. No, no! Jesus! Oh my, they hit the bar. Oh no! Oh, the, please! Oh, fuck off! That's bullshit. What the hell was that goal about? Goethe makes it 2 1 Germany. He just came on as a substitute. Joe Hart can't believe it. I was button smashing, but I couldn't. I couldn't do anything. What is Smalling doing? I tried to clear the ball. And basically, Goetz are just bullies. Bullies Smalling and bundles the ball over the line. Joe Hart just ball watches. What the hell? That's, that's a hilariously bad goal. Okay, let's bring on Walcott, Sturridge, and Sterling. The three big guns. The three players who have scored so many goals for us. In this World Cup. Oh my goodness. Actually, Sturridge can go all the way to here. Come on, shall we? Sterling. Rahim. Bang. Oh, Neuer saves it, but there is nobody there. To... Come on, Jackie. We are sure. Oh. No. He hits the bar! Oh no! We were so close! Walcott! Walcott, curl one! No air saves again. I just can't, can't break him down. And Germany won the game. So we lost to our biggest rivals, Germany. This always happens in big tournaments. But I'm actually not too disappointed because we get a, a smaller side in the knockout stage because of this. Look at this guys, I won the manager of the season award and rightly so, out of the possible six trophies available, we won four of them. We won the League Cup, the FA Cup, the Premier League and the European Super Cup. And yeah, the board is very happy with that. And, and as you can see, they want me to be more successful in the Champions League, but you know, they are very happy with the domestic performance. So the next season starts right now. I'm really, really excited. So this is how our group finished. We finished second behind Germany. And let's see who could we get in the next round. It, and uh, in hindsight, it's not a bad thing we finished second because we avoided getting teams like Spain, Portugal and France. So we could either get Italy, Turkey or the Netherlands. So let's see who do we get in the next round. 
and we get the Netherlands as you can see and France already knocked out Turkey no surprise there and Germany knocked out Spain and to be honest they are a stronger team nowadays um, in real life as well and I really hope I can knock out Netherlands because then we are into the semi-finals of the Euros. That will be in the next episode. So guys, I already recorded that the Depay, we got an offer from Real Madrid for Memphis Depay, but my capture card messed up the sound, so I'm recording this again. So we got an offer of 20 million for Memphis Depay, and he's worth 21 million. So I actually accepted it because, you know, I want to beef up the squad, I want to strengthen the team, and I wanted to talk about this. Guys, do you want me to uh, freshen up the team, freshen up the squad with many new players? Like, I could sell uh, two or three new players. And actually, I transfer listed Emre Can, Raheem Sterling and uh, Paul Pogba. And also, Depay is going to Real Madrid if they can sort out the contract. Loads of you guys said I should sell Sterling, so I'm selling him because of that. And also, Emre Can, he's 26 years old, 78 rated, he hasn't grown in like two or three seasons. And actually, we have a lot of really, really good midfielders who are, uh, who are actually as good or better than Emre Can already. Like Soriano, for example, he's 82 rated, he's from the Youth Academy, and I will play him a lot more. He can play in center attacking midfield as well as on the wing. And he has a 79 finishing, as well as some brilliant skill attributes, as you can see. So I'm really looking forward to actually using him. 90 long shots. And also Carlos Daniel is another player who I want to use a lot more this season. So my question to you guys is, uh, should, I, should I sell uh, some of these players? I'm, I'm re planning to replace um, uh, Klein with one of the players that you guys actually really recommended for me and that is this guy DeAndre Yedlin and I have already put in a bid of uh, like 2 million plus Klein for Yedlin and also we have another player who loads of you guys have said that I maybe should sign Gerard Delafeu who has been absolutely amazing for me on Ultimate Team and also for the Barcelona career mode. He was an absolute beast. And let me know guys, should I swap Sterling for De La Feu, um, or should I just get another player? And yeah, um, I also wanted to ask you guys, uh, what should I do with the, with the, in, the, in the strikers uh, front? Uh, because actually, you know, we have Yashir Suarez storage, but yeah, Suarez is 33 years old, so he's getting a little bit old. So what I also did, you know, as I shortlisted a lot of the region players, the bad news is I I went to see the Gerard region, Joe Osborne, I click on him, and it still says approaches have been blocked. Will it stay like this for eternity, or will I be able to sign him maybe next summer? I really wanted to get this guy the Gerard region because he has absolutely amazing stats and also five star skill moves and I'm so sad that I just can't sign him it's so unrealistic that he just sits there as a free agent for five seasons doing absolutely nothing so yeah my question is should I maybe get the Didier Drogba region which is either this guy or this guy I'm actually scouting all of these guys at the moment and uh, and yeah one of the Another very exciting player could be Stefan Ersharwawi, who could we could get. But I think Delafeu could be a better option. But at the moment I'm just I'm just scouting these guys and waiting for them to you know reveal their ratings and everything, their stats, and then I can maybe pick out one or two guys. I was also thinking about getting a really young right back, a region right back, but I thought DeAndre Yedlin is actually the best option because he's an absolute beast, 26 years old, and also we make Tottenham a little bit weaker with that. So let me know what I should do in the comments below, and thanks for watching, really hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. See you later guys, have a lovely day, goodbye!